Hi Pisces, welcome to your December reading. We're going to be taking a look to see what messages need to come through for you guys for the month ahead. See what you guys could be currently dealing with, what you can expect, to get some insight, wisdom, guidance. Overall, see what's going on for you guys. I hope you guys are doing awesome. If you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok at Jade Stone Tarot. And let's get right into this reading. It's actually funny the deck doesn't want to shuffle anymore. So let's get into it. Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for December 2021. We got the Ten of Cups. Oh my God. Yes, I have all I wish for my... Wait, I can't read you guys. I have all I wish for in my relationships. I love it. So, so far, the water signs have been really positive you guys have all had either the ten of cups or ten of pentacles and it just feels really good whereas with the fire signs not gonna lie check up on your fire sign friends they might be going through it because their readings all of them were happy you know not bad but just like damn they're going through some changes saggy season's kind of kicking them so make sure you check up on your fire sign friends <laughs> or family members that are fire signs or carry heavy fire placements because they might be going through it you might want to you know reach out a helping hand to one of them all right let's see what else needs to come out for pisces we also got these seven of wands all right oh i think they, there's like a lot of protective energy over like your your loved ones like wanting to protect those that you care about i'm getting like mother bear kind of energy like don't fuck with me and my loved ones <laughs> um oh my god these cards what else Ooh, the magician flying out messages for pisces for december 2021 oh damn we have the ace of pentacles it did come out reverse so there could be some delays when it comes to manifestations or even like false starts or opportunities that are missed We'll see. Let's see what else needs to come out. I'm kind of just like letting the cards fly out and just going from there. King of Swords. Oh my god. These cards really just like got a lot to say today. Okay. Um, Eight of Pentacles. It kind of came out sideways. So it's like you... I'm, I'm going to keep it upright. But I do feel like there's like some days where you're feeling motivated. And then some days where you're not. Some days you're inspired. You're dedicated. And some days you're like... oh do i really have to do this like there is a little bit of an um, imbalance and so maybe that's why we have this ace of pentacles reverse like something's not quite ready or you're not quite ready um to fully leap into something we'll see we'll see maybe it just requires some discipline oh and we're blurry we good now nope there we go sorry about that you guys but yeah may just require a little extra discipline in december um it's kind of like for those that are in school it's like you have just like those final weeks left you have your exams and it's just like you're on your last breaking point you just want to break you just want to rest but you're like oh i still have to do my exams or i have to study more like whatever Whew. but just that one last push that one last push it requires a lot of discipline but you got this and then once you're over it you're like okay i can relax i can breathe you know um any other messages for pisces we have judgment reverse okay and one last thing for pisces in december high priestess okay so we have piscean energy coming through here your energy showing up we also have the knight of pentacles queen of pentacles strength four of cups at the bottom of the deck okay so more um lots of earth some fire with uh leo coming out and a little bit of water cancer energy okay so let's break this down there's a lot of different messages coming through here you guys are taking slow but steady steps forward to a time in your life where you're gonna level up we go from the knight to the queen of pentacles it's a slow like transition so um you're moving towards a time in your life where you feel um grounded and abundant and happy and fulfilled right and this is in the distance notice the sun's in the distance this card came out for cancer um so you're moving closer but you're still not quite there just yet this is like beginning of december by the end of december you'll be in this queen of pentacles mode where you have everything that you want that you need to be successful to feel fulfilled and abundant and confident this is what you're moving towards right it does require a lot of strength and it also requires you to even break out of your current routines right i think that you guys would benefit from incorporating something into your daily routine that kind of spices things up or makes things fun and exciting because there is this energy of like feeling a bit bored or like life's just a bit lackluster it's just the same old shit and you're needing something fun you're needing to spice something up or you're needing to like do things differently or approaching things differently you can't expect like a change if you're just doing the same old stuff you know so 
but it requires the strength to actually get up and make the change and that can be really hard sometimes we just stay in this this funky energy for a little too long or like we don't know how to get out of it um it really does require some discipline and getting more clear with yourself and with your values of okay what is it that i want and what is it that i'm trying to bring in here and why isn't it what's getting in the way of my manifestations here so we have the seven of wands i actually hold true to my values right so there is this fire there is this determination within you pisces and you have goals that you like to achieve but yet i think there's something or even yourself that's getting in the way of actually achieving it or like like i said there's this energy of start stop start stop with that eight of pentacles it came out sideways it wasn't reversed but it wasn't upright but as you know i was kind of picking up on like this energy of like some days you're like yeah let's do it let's go and then other days you're like oh i don't even know you know <laughs> it's just like uh, and so it's kind of causing a bit of a delay we'll look into this ace of pentacles reverse so maybe it's just the timing's not right and you're needing to just get back your strength you're needing to take time out to rest maybe it's the way you've been approaching something needs to change but um i think the answer is within you high priestess where you're needing to go inward and that's where you're going to find the truth that will help you have this breakthrough because there is some sort of delay with um like the direction you're going down like maybe you're not really clear with what it is that you're wanting exactly like you kind of have a, a feel for what you want but at the same time you're not really like all that clear and you're needing to get clear here you're needing to be more decisive with the king of swords i trust my ability to make a strategic decision some of you may also have some sort of choice coming up but it's almost like you're postponing or trying to procrastinating um important responsibilities that you got to take care of but you're like oh i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow it's just like that might also be like um certain themes you might notice in december just like instead of just getting it done now you're kind of just pushing it off to the side but it's like it doesn't feel good but you're still doing it i don't know lots of different messages you guys like i'm trying to like get a storyline here but it just feels like lots of different messages jumping out at me um we do have judgment reversed here which is bringing up things from the past or like you could be looking back at some things from your past whether this is recent past or like way back but something here is coming up now maybe it's like <clears throat> some of you could be trying to manifest like a second chance or a second start at something but it's not working or it's not happening um if not maybe you're looking back at something from your past trying to get some sort of clarity on something that has happened like there's a lot of different ways we can interpret this yeah because at the end of the day this is your end goal here ten of cups you just want to feel fulfilled you want to feel good emotionally i think at the beginning of december or your energy that i'm picking up on right now this is where you're at four of cups and you're trying to get to the ten okay and then when we minus four from ten, that's six, six of cups. So there could be something, again, on your mind from the past. Maybe it's something that you're needing to work through releasing or we'll see. We'll see. I just got to, we'll do a little clarifying. I'm just seeing if there's anything else before we like start digging. Um, if there is, if this is like two different people, let's say that this is maybe you, Pisces. And there's something coming through or someone coming through with like an offer to you you may not be really open to it with the four of cups and even the king of so king of swords and the seven of wands there could be a bit of defensive energy or like not wanting to drop your standards or like looking at some sort of offering and being like no nah, you're not on my not on my level or like <laughs> um you're not my type or something like that right but then you're like kind of shutting things down instead of being more open i think like um another message to consider is like being more receptive or open-minded to opportunities even if it's not like your usual thing that you would give a chance to whether it's like a person like asking you out or like some sort of opportunity presenting itself but you're like it's not really what you would normally go after or give a chance to and so maybe there's the tendency to like ace of pentacles reverse like turn something down because you're not really sure right if you want to put the effort into it but you might, act, yeah, and even with judgment reverse, it's like not putting energy into something or just saying like flat out no, like rejection. But it's like, if you feel in your gut, maybe you should give this a chance or somewhere in your gut saying, oh, maybe I should. Maybe you should follow that instinct. Just saying, just throwing it out there. That's just another message that I'm getting from this, okay? Trying to just break it all down and see if there's anything else. So yeah, what I'm going to do here, we're going to clarify a little bit, see what else is happening here. Um... Let's take a look into this Four of Cups 
and see what that's about. I've got the Four of Cups. For Pisces, Summer Rising Venus in December 2021. Try the Four of Cups for Pisces. Yeah, like some of you are just in a funk and it's really hard to get out of. You don't want to be in it, but it's kind of hard to. We have a card on the ground. Where is it? Where did it go? Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I like cracked my back. Um, Knight of Pentacles. So there's like slow movement. Slow, 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 slow. Right? Patience is being tested. Kind of the four of cups. We also have the six of pentacles. You're needing more play. You feel way, 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 way more serious. It's almost look like this nine of pentacles is watching over kids, like babysitting. Maybe you babysitting a lot. <laughs> that could be for someone a lot. Maybe you have like a lot of like younger siblings or you know family that you are constantly taking care of or like driving people around town or like i don't know picking people up or just like uh again i'm feeling like the sense of responsibility that you're having to take care of in december or like people relying on you in december um and so you feel very serious meanwhile there's like these children playing and it's almost like you want to have fun but you can't or you feel like you can't i had the four of cups for oh my gosh three of pentacles reversed lots of earth coming through Kind of the four of cups for Pisces. Someone rising Venus, ace of wands. All right, and let's get one more for the four of cups. Okay, queen of pentacles coming out again and three of swords reversed. Okay. Okay, now I'm getting a different message too. So, um, so you may have noticed in certain relationships, more specifically friendships or acquaintances, or maybe people you work with, but I'm feeling more like friendship energy. You may have noticed that there's a bit of an imbalance in the give and take. Something's being brought up here and something about that needs to change. We have the Ace of Wands, Three of Swords reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, and then I'm getting completely, this is unrelated to that. It's like with the four of cups and kind of feeling blue and, or maybe not like necessarily blue, but just kind of feeling stuck or bored. Um, there's some sort of passion. There's some sort of like idea or inspiration that you're going to receive in December about some sort of project or creative endeavor that's really going to help you heal with the three of swords reverse. I see that there's going to be some sort of positive um project or something that you're going to pick up that's going to like just light your soul on fire and excite you and it's going to be a great way to channel like any hurt or um stagnant energy within you that maybe you've suppressed or just kind of pushed aside like i feel like you guys since this is clarifying the four of cups and i was saying how you guys may need to like integrate something new or pick up some sort of new um talent or <laughs> skill or like picking up a project or just trying out new things learning new things i think some of you might discover something that you're really passionate about and it's also going to bring a lot of healing I like that. I like that a lot. And also just recognizing, you know, certain connections in your life may need to be brought more into balance or you may be recognizing that uh, maybe you need to make some adjustments in certain relationships, friendships, right? Trust your intuition with that. Um, all right. So why is this Ace of Pentacles reversed here? I'm going to move this closer. Talk about this Ace of Pentacles reversed for Pisces, somewhere in Ice Venus. Talk about this Ace of Pentacles reversed for Pisces. In December 2021, Ace of Pentacles reversed for Pisces. Show me clearly. Try out this Ace of Pentacles reversed for Pisces, summarizing Venus. One more, okay. Ace of Pentacles reversed for Pisces. Okay, we have the Six of Swords reversed, and we also have Ten of Swords reversed as well. And at the bottom, we have the Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles reversed, and the King of Swords double confirmation, double comfort. Oh, no, we don't have the Four of Swords, never mind. I thought we had the Four of Swords come out earlier. Um, I'm probably going to pull more cards to clarify this, honestly. This is something that you're trying to heal from. This is probably what you're reflecting on with Judgment Reverse, looking back at something from your past. And then we have the Ten of Swords Reverse. So there is some sort of ending. This has already happened. And then the Six of Swords Reverse, this is talking about returning to something that had happened. So whether this is just internally in your mind that you are trying to uncover um, and you're trying to get some sort of clarity on something. Um, let's see. Let's see. 
and wait at the bottom we have that four of swords right this is going inward and like reflecting and healing from something that maybe has you feeling a bit insecure or you're doubting yourself or let's just see what else needs to come up regarding this ace of pentacles reverse for pisces ace of pentacles reverse okay ooh, we have the nine of swords reverse so this is something you know it's caused a lot of like anxiety at moments or just like weighed heavily on your mind but i do see that there's some sort of release happening here we also have oh nine of cups reversed all right so i'm feeling like there's some sort of disappointment that's connected to this ace of pentacles like you were let down or something left you very disappointed like not really understanding like why something happened or not really having full clarity um with the ace of swords reverse it's like you're wanting the truth on a situation and you're returning to it or it's on your mind and you're you're thinking back to a time but this can sometimes indicate like actually this situation coming up we'll see though let's look into judgment reverse since i think it's tied to that it's related to that or you might be just getting some sort of like um intuitive hunch on a situation or getting clarity through your intuition so I feel like this Ace of Pentacles could have been like a false start or a situation that was not successful. Judgment reverse for Pisces. What was your last reading about Pisces? I don't remember. <laughs> the readings don't stick with me. After I upload it, it's like it's gone. It's out of my mind. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, tell me about judgment for Pisces. Wow, the deck does not want to shuffle. Let's just give it a couple minutes. I really want to mix this up. Tell me about judgment reverse for Pisces, Summer Rising Venus in December 2021. Also, keep in mind, we have a lot of eclipse energy, a lot of eclipse energy in Sagittarius and Gemini, and um, those are mutable signs. You're also a mutable sign, so you guys are probably going to be feeling the impact too. It says you're a water sign, very intuitive. You know, you're definitely going to be feeling this heightened energy and your intuition is going to be on point. So make sure you pay attention to that. But since, you know, eclipses heightened to the max, this does talk about illumination. So, you know, situations where there maybe was lack of clarity or lack of closure, lack of answers, you're going to be getting some sort of clarity in December that's going to help you, like, free yourself or move on from something right so just keep that in mind let's see judgment reverse for pisces in december 2021 okay we have the five of swords so this is about a situation where you were hurt badly now maybe someone says some hurtful things to you maybe there's some grudges that you're holding on to this is something that you're trying to heal from and there's still a wound that you carry when it comes to this situation um wow and judgment tried coming out it really did it came out it actually flipped out reverse and i moved it like this but just want to show you guys the card that wow double confirmation really all right time of judgment for pisces summarizing venus we also have ace of cups oh okay it's about some sort of like emotion or relationship now am i seeing a new start mm, let's just see here nine of pentacles two of wands a choice also talks about like how unpredictable the energy is right now and that at any moment things can shift timelines can shift right timing out judgment reverse for pisces we also have the fool okay so something is beginning here i know it's at the bottom oh justice reversed hierophant page of pentacles hermit two of cups see here's the thing here's the thing pisces so there is something again from the past that's on your mind and for some there's this opportunity or you could be waiting on an opportunity to start over with an individual right whether this is friend romance family i don't give a shit but it's a fan it's not <laughs> it's a relationship of some sort where you were hurt in and clarifying judgment reversed normally that's like not giving a second chance but why am i getting this energy as like okay um you know taking a breather taking a time out nine of pentacles let me get some time alone to sit think and contemplate my next step two of wands you know a choice between the old versus the new and things right now are a bit un uncertain right this this uh this volcano could explode at any moment. Don't know when. It could be tomorrow. It could be a week from now. It could be a month from now. It could be a year from now. But this this volcano could explode at any moment. And then we have the fool. So there's something beginning. 
So, what is this? Be what's if, if this is talking about the past coming back, would it work? Justice reversed, Hierophant, Page of Pentacles and the Hermit, and the Two of Cups. So again, this, this uh, some sort of relationship or connection, friendship for some romance or could be talking about an ex relationship also keep in mind we got venus retrograding in december bringing up partnerships that did not succeed um this might be a little test from the universe but if if you were to give a second chance to something i don't know if it's gonna work out the way you hope justice reverse which does tell me that there would still be this lack of balance tells me um I don't know i just feel like it would just be the same old shit and then we have the hierophant and the page of pentacles like just remember what you've learned because i'm getting the energy of like history repeating itself especially since judgments reversed and it came out twice and so we have the hermit so it's like you if you're gonna start anything new or giving a, a second chance to anything from your past please just take a t take some time to really think and contemplate because I feel like there's lessons that haven't been learned yet. Justice reverse, like, um, like a, some sort of lesson hasn't been learned. And it will continue to repeat itself as many times as you choose to until you finally get it. Hmm. So let's, uh, let's just take a quick little look into the high priestess like just trust your intuition i guess when it comes to any decision that you have regarding the past but see and that's oh and that would make sense why the eight of pentacles came out sideways it wasn't upright it wasn't reversed it's just like there's not there's this energy of like not quite sure like do i give my energy to this or do i just like walk away right and you're gonna have to figure that out and use your discernment so maybe that's what this um king of swords is about i trust my ability to make a strategic decision right you have to choose what's going to bring you the most peace and if you kind of have a hunch already like this is probably just going to waste my time or i kind of already know what to expect especially like the past history um what's what's it saying like patterns and stuff like patterns probably going to just repeat itself so if you already given this a second third chance What's the likelihood that the fourth chance is going to be any different? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Right? You got your free will, of course. But um, let's just take a look at the high priestess. Your intuition guides me to the truth. Your intuition guides you to getting, like, clarity as to, like, what you should do. But let's see. Let's turn out the high priestess real quick for Pisces. Summonizing Venus in December 2021. High priestess for Pisces. the high priestess for pisces summarizing venus in december wheel of fortune awesome and the moon give me one more oh just kidding okay the magician and there's one on the ground where did it go oh i found it oh nice six of wands and at the bottom we have the eight of cups okay there's this energy of leaving behind four swords reverse nine of wands four of wands reverse okay so you guys basically what i'm getting here is like there might have been the tendency or like almost like the urge to return to something from your past or give a second chance to someone that's probably not deserving of you and you almost fell for it but then something clicked in in your gut like mm, i probably just should let this be or let this go or say my piece and then leave it as it is and move on and move forward and that's kind of what i'm feeling here with this eight of cups like walking away this four of swords reverse kind of like as you're walking away like did i make the right choice maybe i should have given it a second chance oh i hope i'm doing the right thing what if i'm being um you know maybe i'm being uh overly dramatic or whatever maybe i'm overthinking or i don't fucking know but nine of wands just keep moving forward because whatever it is that you're leaving behind four of wands reverse is like there's lack of stability here and yeah i just feel like it'd be a waste of energy anyway so moving forward right your intuition is kind of telling you i need to just keep focusing on the future and focusing on the new and that's what's happening here that is what's happening here wheel of fortune the moon and the magician this is all about creating something new and turning the page to a new chapter a new cycle in your life so i guess when we look at that judgment reverse energy with the cards that came out and now that we kind of got the full picture 
Um, so the Five of Swords, right? Definitely hurt by something in the past. Probably a relationship of some sort. Um, it's all about now you guys just focusing on healing and getting your stability back and taking better care of yourself. The Two of Wands, you have a choice. You can repeat the past. Maybe give a second chance to the past. And history repeats itself. And you end up in the same old shit. And then you're probably going to tell yourself, damn it, I should have known. I should have stuck to what my intuition was telling me. Why did I waste my time? Why did I give this loser a second chance, right? right? Or you choose, fuck it, I'm moving in a different direction. I've learned my lesson. I want something new, right? Then we have the fool. So new beginning, new chance, new direction. So that is a choice for you. But I think what I'm picking up here is you guys are moving in a new direction. And I also feel like you got a lot of attention or a lot of eyes on you or like receiving acknowledgement for your hard work and for your your efforts and feeling supported and just feeling like at ease like okay i did make the right choice and feeling at ease and feeling at peace with that you know i think um you're gonna be getting a lot of clarity this month that's just gonna help solidify the choices that you made and where you're headed down the future so really strong reading for you guys <laughs> like jeez okay um so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just grab a fairy no we're gonna grab a couple animal cards and then a fairy message and wrap this thing up and yeah so are there any animal oracle messages for pisces to wrap up this reading if there's anything else that they need to know or consider keep in mind in december any other messages for pisces summarizing venus in december 2021 Any animal oracle messages for Pisces? Summarizing Venus. Okay, we got the scorpion. Yeah, so there's still some unresolved issues, hurts, anger, resentment that you still could be carrying. Um, there's a bit of irritation. Your stinger's up. Some of you may have scorpion in your chart. Just, uh, you know, be honest. This also does call for forgiveness, healing, and acceptance. We also have the eagle, right? This is like massive... Um, massive change massive growth i always see the eagle as like divine intervention slash like orchestration like everything happening for a specific reason to help you on your purpose on like the path that you're headed down or like you know like god's plan or whatever you want to call it <laughs> um any other messages for pisces lots of like learning opportunities that's a fact here and the snake at the bottom of the deck so shedding old skins shedding dead weight anger re resentment grudges that you've been carrying it's time to let that go i know easier said than done it's like okay thanks i'm gonna let it go because they told me to it's like obviously it's not just like you snap your fingers it's over and done with but i think in december with this eclipse energy it is helping you guys release what doesn't serve you it's helping you guys make peace with your past it's helping you guys recognize the lessons that were learned and um recognizing your potential and focusing on your future and focusing on expanding in the areas that you want getting more clear with yourself on what it is that you're trying to bring into fruition um instead of focusing on what you don't want focus on what you do want right just remember where you put your energy that's where you attract it right your mind's a magnet don't forget it um yeah so fairy message and then we're gonna wrap this up for you guys let me just set that okay any fairy messages to wrap up this reading for pisces any other messages that they need to know consider for december 2021 any other messages please and thank you any messages for pisces summer night of venus for december 2021 any fair messages to wrap this reading up Oh, <laughs> damn, card explosion, or just kidding, it's just, oh, it's two cards, okay. We got Iris of the Rainbow and the Maiden. So Iris of the Rainbow, number 32, this actually talks about like a lesson here that needs to be learned. And the sooner you learn a lesson, the sooner the storm will pass. So some of you are kind of in the thick of this, this storm, right? And you're like, why is this happening to me? And oh my God, right? But the sooner you learn or recognize some sort of lesson, the sooner this will pass. So you're going to have to figure what out this lesson is. <laughs> Wait, does that make sense? You're going to have to figure out what this lesson is because it's different for everybody. Um, 
even just simply as like learning to trust your intuition or learning when to stop putting energy into something but this does signify hope it may also talk about um vulnerability right notice how our titties all out (laughs) vulnerability but also fertility and how you can use this experience or experiences as opportunities for your self growth and development and to learn more about yourself and what it is that you do want. Notice in the corner there's this guy with like a, a bow and arrow. He is focusing on a target of like he's actually focusing probably on this bubble to be honest. <laughs> probably gonna burst someone's bubble or maybe you're popping your own bubble. Who knows, right? Um and then we have the maiden number fourteen. This is like unleashing your inner child learning to have more fun learning to be more creative and not so uptight or serious like you know it does feel like it has been pretty heavy or intense for some of you but it's about reconnecting to the things that bring a lot of joy and happiness in your life surrounding yourself with those that bring out these these aspects of you and this is also a reminder to take good care of yourself i also want to pass on the message of like for those where you look back at your your younger self whether it's like again younger self whether that's a year ago six months ago you're still your younger self because you're older now (laughs) um or even like your childlike self and you may have this like regret or you may tend to beat yourself up over things that you can't change um look at your younger self as if they are your own child right would you be mean to a child if they were sad about something and be like okay just get over it get over it it doesn't even matter or would you be like why are you upset to like this little kid right so treat like these younger or past versions of yourself as like having more patience and compassion towards yourself and even others and um that is you know that's a lesson to be learned it's not gonna happen again overnight but to practice patience and be more gentle and compassionate to yourself and we go through these experiences that help shape us and help us learn and grow and you can't change the past you can change the future it's about just reaching this point of acceptance and loving yourself unconditionally anyways right the past doesn't have to define you and it's really just about you know nurturing yourself and taking good care of yourself and um allowing yourself to grow so Sheesh, yeah, that's what I got for you guys for this reading. If you guys found this helpful or insightful, please let me know in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram at jadestonetarot. I also have a TikTok if you guys want to follow that too, jadestonetarot. And yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.